Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be casting Luminosity versus Evil Geniuses. This match was just played a couple days ago in the North American Play Day. I believe it was on July 11th, if I'm not mistaken. And we've this is a bit of an exciting one. Luminosity is one of the most recent organizations to have joined the Rainbow Six Siege esports scene about three or so weeks ago maybe a tiny bit more they picked up 92 dream teams roster so it, so far luminosity have been doing pretty okay pretty okay this season and today they face the north american giants evil geniuses and today in today's match evil geniuses actually have gotcha their coach gotcha will be filling in for geo who won't be joining us today in this match but nevertheless, Gotcha is one of the most experienced players slash coaches to have ever played this game, so he shouldn't have a problem fitting right in and taking over Geo's roles and plays. So with all of the bands done, we've got Echo, Lion, Maverick, and Pulse. Those four operators will not be playable for the duration of this match. And looking out from the bands, Echo, it's a pretty reasonable ban. Happens nearly every single match. Lion, yeah, you get it. He's one of the most annoying operators to, do, to deal with, say, seeing as he's got technically one of the most overpowered gadgets in the game. At the click of a button, you basically just play red light, green light with the defending operators. Maverick, not too surprised there. And Pulse, a bit of a target band. Uh, target ban, excuse me. We know that Canadian off from the EG roster just absolutely adores playing as Pulse. And on Villa, he is one of the most he's one of the more stronger defensive operators to use, seeing as the verticality is present in nearly every single part of the map. Every single part of the map has some destructible floor slash ceiling. And Pulse, he just, mm, he is practically the cherry on top when it comes to verticality in this map. But unfortunately for EG, they will be, unfortunately for Canadian, so to speak, he will be removed. Now, the EG roster will go upstairs in the game room and the map room, I believe. And <clears throat> Gotcha, this technically today's stub, uh, not stub, excuse me, sub. Today's sub on the Mozzie, one of the most flexible defender operators to have been introduced recently. And <clears throat> Canadian might be able to get an early pick. I think he did just hear that Claymore get set down, but he won't challenge it. There's no reason to. Now, Luminosity Gaming will start off by clearing out the first floor. Let's see if they manage to find the roamers that are all the way hidden inside of library and close to the piano room. Because if they don't manage to get rid of, those, rid of those roamers, then it makes their lives quite a bit harder. Odd gets the first kill onto Mozzie. Gotcha will be the first to go down, leaving it at a 4v5 with just under two minutes left. Young manages to catch one tiny glimpse of Odd does not get the frag though and nvk that's the legion off the board as well now so far they have done quite a great job at clearing out defenders and canadian manages to get the down onto pixel and he will also clean up odd who was left pretty low on hp sort of evening out the man count but i'm pretty sure that luminosity will be able to revive their fallen nomad as soon as humanly possible Canadian coming in around for a very slow flank, but unfortunately for the time for his yeah unfortunate timing, Rexon does spot him out with that twitch drone. They now know where Canadians at. They know exactly what they should be looking out for, and they'll start making their way up the main staircase, just all in a cluster of three people. Although they at the uh, at the moment they don't really know exactly where Canadian has moved on to. Hyena picks up the kill onto Young, and it's. Down to Canadian and Necrox. Canadian swinging around by the 90 hallway to pick up anyone on the long side of it, although he will be challenged by one person who is repelling on the west side of the wall outside. Unable to land the shots, 
right now. It's a difficult position for him to play. Hyena gets downed, unfortunately, for him. And Rexon will land, oh, so many shots into Canadian, leaving him on very low HP. Necrox just miss misses one going by. He picks up a kill onto Pixel. Rexon team kill onto Thomas, unfortunately. And he does manage to also pick up Hyena. Now it's all up to Rexon on the Twitch with 15 seconds left on the board. The two defenders are pretty low on HP, but so is he. He'll have to pull off something miraculous to win the round, but he doesn't manage to do so. Necrox putting in work in those final 30 seconds of the round, managing to pick up effectively three kills with that shotgun and SMG-11 in hand. Brilliantly played by Necrox on the smoke. Well done to EG. Well done to them. Even though they had a bit of a sloppy start with Gotcha being removed pretty early on in the round and being left at a man disadvantage early into the round, they managed to pick things up really decisively. And they put a round on the board for themselves. Moving into round two, they will decide to go in the first floor. Dining room and kitchen will be the site for this round. Six pick off of the castle. Gotcha has chosen Valkyrie. Valkyrie, haven't really, uh, personally, I haven't really seen much of her on Villa, especially with this side, but when it normally comes to defending kitchen and dining room, it is very crucial that you hold control of the upstairs rooms. Those are the master bedroom and also the statuary room. If you deny the attackers control of those two rooms for as long as possible, That'll make your life just so much easier because practically the entire ceiling in dining and kitchen room is destructible. So then again, you are kind of screwed if the wall just directly, if the, if the floor directly above you get opened. And that's exactly what EG are planning to do. They are going to put some heavy presence, presence on the top floor, having two people roam just above and... <clears throat> That was a bit of a lag and a bit of a fast forward, but we'll just move smartly along past that. Luminosity Gaming starting off with finding one maestro hidden away in the pantry, and they might be able to get a nade off of him. Ricochets off, but just doesn't connect. Only takes off a slither of health off of Canadian. He will run back into sight safely. Pantry wall getting opened, and uh, yeah, once that wall gets opened, it really limits their the defender's ability to move around site. Impact trick comes out, and first kill from Nectrox comes out onto Pixel. Two more come out. It's a 4v3, and Odd has already made it into sight along with one of his teammates. Now, smokes and grenades are also coming out in NVK from the doorway picks up a kill and then Rexon also gets the frag onto Valkyrie. It's a 2v3. All of this happened pretty pretty fast and now Hyena will be going for the defuse plant. Doesn't look like EG are ready to deny this as of yet but I was wrong. Young picks up the kill onto Hyena. Diffuser will not be planted and Rexon finds himself in a 1v3. Misses shots onto that was NVK I believe who runs. He's chasing him down with the pistol. Has to stop and reload for a sec, but he is pretty much surrounded from every single angle imaginable. Stim shot will fully heal up Young, and NVK will go in for the frag. Picks up Rexon in what was pretty much a bit of a, quite a cluster biff of a round. Everything just happened super, super fast. It was wow. <laughs> Luminosity completely rushed into the kitchen after they got the initial pantry wall open, and then frags were just coming out left and right. It was an absolute bloodbath. But then again, it's Evil Genius's round. That's two for them in a row, and they'll go back downstairs to the other first floor site. Living room and library is probably the least played site since it is one of the least favored sites. It is really big. The two bombs are really far apart from each other, and the rooms in which they are found in are also pretty large, especially the living room. It's a difficult to site to play as a defender, but I'm pretty sure EG has got this one in the bag as well, since they have managed to pull off the two previous rounds pretty, pretty decisively. 
and Canadian will be bringing out the Mira for the first time in this series. This has also always been one of the most common strats since Villa was released in Parabellum. Get someone inside that little vault room playing as the mirror. Put up a mirror window looking into a site. And you've pretty much got at least one of the entrances covered because, like I said before, the living room is a ginormous room. You need to have at least two people in there at all times. And aside from that, NVK and Necrox are going to be upstairs, I think, as long, uh, also along with Gotcha holding the trophy, not trophy, statuary, excuse me, but the study and the games room. Also 90 hallway, and basically just every single part of the map, which is directly above the sites. Luminosity will start off by taking control of the north side of the map, the north side of the map, both the second and top floor. They've also got a drone downstairs in the basement, just to watch out for any potential rotations, any potential roamers and stuff like that. And with already a minute into the round, they have been quite efficient in taking control of the uh, the north side of the map. They've established um, a few positions of the defending team. They will gather information on a few roamers who are out, not outside, excuse me, in, excuse me, inside on the south side of the second floor. And three people will stack up on the north staircase, probably looking to make an initial push. They do realize that nobody was behind that mirror that was placed on a soft wall, so they'll have Odd just take it down very easily with the skeleton key. And it's a bit... Awkward, I want to say that EG opted not to reinforce those two walls on the living room, but you know, I'm sure they have a work around it. I'm definitely sure they have a work around it, but it is just one more line of sight that they have to worry about, unfortunately for them. And with just over a minute left off of, on the board, the initial frag from either squad is still yet to come. They have done pretty good job on taking map control and the frag grenade comes out from odd but i think it was caught by an ads and shots will go in to canadian and he will pick up hyena also canadian left odd on very low hp and odd will pick up canadian he finally manages to pick up the kill that he was struggling to get and necrox one onto odd and from actually above in the vault brilliantly played by him and rexon picks up nvk with the f2 now, they, Necrox is still left upstairs uncontested, and there are just 30 seconds left on the board. Luminosity are in a severe disadvantage. They don't have any control upstairs whatsoever. Necrox is left uncontested. There is a mirror window inside of the lower vault, which is still, well, closed off. Smoke grenades coming out, and with 15 seconds left, there is practically no hope for Luminosity. Thomas goes down, and Young left on very low HP will just throw out another smoke grenade to deny any entrance by Luminosity. But they do not have the diffuser in hand. They have to rush in and try to get the plant off, but with zero seconds, plant starts going down, and Gotcha will finish Pixel off, denying the plant and securing the third round for Evil Geniuses. Things started off pretty okay that round. The first minute was Luminosity was mainly focusing on just getting map control, which they did pretty, pretty good. They managed to isolate all of the roamers and all of the defenders off to the south side of the map. But unfortunately, there was no follow-up. They did not decide to push the roamers upstairs at all. I don't know what the thought process was behind that, but instead they decided to stack up and just try to take sight with an iron fist. Unfortunately for them, things didn't go as planned. If they had at least one or two people upstairs trying to contest the roamers, things much, would have gone much more smooth. If they got a kill, it would have been even better, but they could have at least died trying because as things just played out, it just it was not good for Luminosity whatsoever. Necrox on that mozzie was left in the vault uncontested, and he had a clear si line of sight into the living room entrances and... He was just doing work from up there. I think he only picked up one kill. I might be mistaken. He may have picked up a second kill, but still. You cannot let those defenders 
use the verticality to their advantage. They cannot go uncontested. Any hoops, ooh. e.g. for their fourth round, are going to go back upstairs into bar, games room, and the maps in the map room. They haven't gone to the trophy and statuary room yet, which, you know, if they would have, they would have been a complete rotation of every single site this map has to offer, but it's completely fine. They won three rounds and they can go back stairs, back upstairs into the maps room and game room. Luminosity starting once again off with taking control of the north side of the map. Trophy and statuary is now theirs completely. They do, uh, Rexon also brought out a jackal so he can just annoy the defenders a tiny little, little a tiny bit with his uh, with his inox scanning the footprints, and also Gotcha will be sitting on that clash. I don't know how to respond to this. I mean, heck, Clash is an operator which could in the right hands could be completely deadly, and in this case, using a Clash to deny the attackers from pushing down 90 would work really, really well. A run out from Canadian doesn't catch. He doesn't net any frags, but Hyena will also get taken down by NVK, so that was the trade off 44 with a minute 30 left on the clock. <clears throat> and Odd is struggling to take down the uh, to take down the Clash. NVK gets a kill onto Pixel, Nomad off the board, and Gotcha has also been injured, unfortunately for him. But NVK will get a frag onto Thomas, and they they might just start going for a revive. And NVK doing so much work, he gets Rexon, and I think that was also the 4K for him. If he manages to get Odd, the last standing player for Luminosity, it will be a pretty spectacular ace. And diffuser left down. NVK knows exactly where it is, and he will probably hear the footsteps just. He will hear Odd's footsteps ever so slowly creeping around the corner, but he does pick up the diffuser and he is so very close on his hard right. If he peeks it, if he can just wait, but if he gets this kill, it'll probably be his ace. And let's see, he sees the gun barrel, hip fires from behind, and NVK with an, out, an outstanding ace. Secures round number four for Luminosity. I mean, uh, for EG, excuse me. Luminosity are in dire straits right now. They have not much room to work with. They have to at least pick up the next two rounds if they want to at least have a chance of bringing this map back. Villa is one of those maps that is... I guess you could say statistically it's a very defender-sided map. There, Of course, we've had, we have had some of those matches where the attackers would just blatantly win everything outright and then after halftime again the attacking side would win another six rounds for example and things would just end up tied up but statistically speaking this has always been a defender sided map and so far evil geniuses they've practically bagged themselves a win after winning four rounds if they manage to get this next round then it is pretty much definitely over for luminosity being the attacking side, starting off on the attacking side, if you get at least two rounds on Villa, then you have practically set yourself up relatively well for going into the next half of the match. But coming, uh, being the, on the attacking side and coming out empty-handed with not a single round does not bode well. It is possible to bring it back, but most of the time it really isn't. And... Evil Geniuses will go back downstairs into the kitchen and dining room, and this is actually something that I've never really seen before. Normally when you bring a mirror, you will have two mirrors inside of, I believe that is a site looking into the art room, memorial room, whatever you want to call it. But this time they're going to do the, exactly the opposite. Canadian will put his mirrors inside of memorial room looking into the dining room. I'm pretty sure it'll work out just fine for them, because judging from the um, from Luminosity's previous attack, they just bum rush the site completely. And having a mirror inside of a memorial room would probably be much more useful than the opposite. Rexon on the jackal picks up Necrox. That is Jaeger off the board, and the rest of Luminosity are. 
busy at work. They're working hard upstairs to gain as much control of the upper floor as possible. They have four people stacked up, gathering as much information as possible. Literally every single one of them is on their drones right now. And they're waiting to, ca to catch out any defenders, any roamers who aren't paying attention. It's Gotcha and NVK upstairs who have started to slowly retreat back into the maps room. So Luminosity have successfully managed to push out the defenders from the top floor, not completely, but more or less. NVK will be getting jackal tracked and he'll just rotate back down to site. Gotcha on the Valkyrie gets spot out, it gets droned out. So now that they Luminosity know that he is in, definitely inside of the dining, um, excuse me, living room. Impactor comes out, Hyena's x Kyrus pellets will be denied and Young evens things out. That is Buck off of the board. And actually, he didn't manage to get that impact trick, but never mind. Hyena now has a clear line of sight into the kitchen, and Gotcha still left completely unharmed will move his way very, very slowly to the upstairs site. Thomas picks up one onto, e onto Young, and Gotcha will drop down picks up kill onto Rexon, and with 30 seconds left on the board, we are still at an even man count. Pixel pushes in and gets Canadian, and Gotcha from behind will nail a few shots into Pixel, but doesn't get a frag. NVK will pick up Pixel, and now Hyena and Thomas have to finish what they've started. Gotcha picks up a kill onto Hyena, and it's now all up to Thomas, who is left on very, very low HP. He is in sight with the Diffuser, but there's not much he can do. Uh, but he's gonna pick up NVK. Instead, he's gonna pick up NVK. That's the dog down, but information is coming out from the pings as the diffuser is going down. And Gotcha will s just slightly miss his... Oh, man, he slightly missed him first of all, but it doesn't matter. He picks up the headshot onto Thomas, cleans up the round, gets the defuse, and that's five in a row for EG. Five in a row. Uh, they're nearly on match point. If they win this final round of the half, then they've practically set themselves up for a guaranteed win. EG are going to go back downstairs to living room and library. Things are not looking good at all for Luminosity. EG has just been on top of their game and luminosity could have just squeezed out a win that last round thomas was so very close to also picking up gotcha he managed to get the diffuse down with little to no time left it was a 1v1 and if luminosity had at least managed to pick up that one round previously there would have still been a chance There would have still been a chance, but don't get me wrong, there still is a chance for Luminosity to bring things back. They are going... EG is going to opt for going to the... Not necessarily the worst site, but the least favored defender, defender site right now. And... Gotcha on the castle will pretty much castle barricade everything off. Any really awkward sort of lines of sight four people down in sight i don't think they're going to be focusing necessarily on a heavy roam game this time around they don't really need to either but anyways luminosity are going to start off by moving into the art studio nvk is over there and he will get picked off very early into the round just after 30 seconds luminosity manages to bring the man count down to a five versus four it's a brilliant start for them good entry frag oh and rexon actually managed to catch some footprints of roamer upstairs gotcha on the castle will be getting tracked practically non-stop he does have the help of necrox but it'll be very difficult for them to pull them to pull something off. They do have some reinforced walls to you know keep themselves safe and everything. And Gotcha will just start running away as much as possible. He gives the call to Necrox, to tell him to just retreat back to the north side of the map. And Luminosity Gaming, they have to 
they they have to throw out some drones, gather information, and realize that there is no one upstairs in the games and maps room, so they can just take it swiftly and start doing some work with that verticality. Odd on the buck has already moved his way into the games room, and he will use that skeleton key to make some lines of sight. Gotcha! Gets a brilliant headshot onto Thomas, and Thomas was also very close. He was just inches away from getting that headshot onto the castle but it'll be gotcha who comes out on top and with 70 seconds left on the board luminosity have to they have to cook something up and they have to cook it real real quick if they want to actually have a chance at bringing this match back and gotcha upstairs still left uncontested he will just start going for a rotate he will drop the hatch into the art studio he catches one off guard nets one frag and he will go for a second that is pixel off of the board and with it and it's down to a 2v4 rexon gets young two players are in sight and gotcha from behind will pick up the hibana and necrox will pick up rexon diffuser went down and evil geniuses have a flawless first half by winning six rounds in a row. And Gotcha was the star of that round. He, ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> he just completely ruined Luminosity's day altogether. He just, mm. Dropping hatch and getting two frags, moving into the open rotation by sight and getting one more frag as well he did work i would say he just outright won that round for evil geniuses <clears throat> and now they're gonna bring themselves up to match point first attacking round six pick from both teams coming off vigil onto valkyrie iq onto jackal at this point why not just bring a jackal anyway very annoying operator to deal with and uh first sight is going to be upstairs in the games and map room luminosity better ha they definitely should have something up their sleeve if they want to you know edge out at least a draw and get themselves one point on the scoreboard but evil geniuses even even if they're not going to bring their a game this last Time. They still have about five rounds of potential mistakes they can make before they before they inch out a win. But come on, it's evil geniuses. I'm pretty sure that even uh, even with Gotcha right now, Gotcha is doing work, and they're just gonna outright win this seven zero most probably. And look at that, Gotcha, their coach who is subbing in for Geo, nine frags on the board. Nine. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing to see this. And he'll bring out the Ash with the G36C. No doubt with an ACOG on top, and t this is gonna this is not gonna end well for Luminosity. Gotcha's just gonna start rushing in on the north side of the map, grabbing control as fast as possible. He has his teammates to drawn out from him. And they do get some information that there is one downstairs, either in the lobby or in the living room. NVK picks up Pixel, Mozzie off of the board. And that's already a brilliant entry frag. Jackal Track's coming out, and Gotcha will start moving in towards the living room. Wallbang's coming out from Gotcha. Doesn't hit Odd. Unfortunately, Rexon evens it out. Killing NVK and Necrox will pick up Odd. It is a 3v3. Canadian has been injured, but he will be picked up momentarily. And, ooh, Thomas picks up a kill with the SAS shoddy. Hyena will finish off the down Canadian, I think it was, with the evil eye. And now it's down to a 2v2. But evil geniuses, they have a ton of time on their hands to work with. They can just... Stop, take a breather, 80 seconds left to go, they can gather as much information as possible. They're not necessarily in a rush, and they still have quite a bit of utility on hand. Young should still have two exothermic charges on in yeah in his pocket. A few stun grenades, but unfortunately for EG, they don't have any uh, breaching rounds anymore to deal with those Maestro Evil Eyes. 
Gotcha will slowly start pushing from the study doorway, gets a brilliant headshot onto Hyena, and it's all up to Rexon on the Jaeger. Spots are coming out, they know exactly where he is, he ran into Vault, gotcha with the pre-fires, not netting any kills, but it'll be Young to clean him up, and EG will take the match against Luminosity without dropping a single round, they just won a perfect 7-0 against Luminosity, and None other than their coach, Evil Genie, uh, Gotcha from Evil Geniuses, will be in the spotlight grabbing that MVP. Absolutely crazy stuff. Absolutely crazy stuff. With 11 frags on the board, that'll close it off, and Evil Geniuses will get three more points to add. They will add three more points to the leaderboard. Very decisive victory. Not much can be said besides the fact that they've done a hell of a job in today's match. So I hope you guys enjoyed me casting this little VOD today. It was a bit of a short one, only about a half an hour worth of gameplay, but I'll make sure to end up catching a longer one. I did really want to catch this one uh, to cast this one since we had Gotcha filling in for Ne uh, for Geo today, which was something that I was really excited to see. But nevertheless, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next VOD.